Hello. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to download and install a driver using the driverguide.com website. And I'm going to be doing this by searching for the hardware ID of my particular device. And this will be done on a Windows 7 operating system. Now, the example device I'm going to be uh, using in this tutorial is a built-in touchpad pointing device, which is built into my laptop. Now, in order to find the hardware ID for my device, I can use the device manager, which is built into my operating system, in order to find that particular hardware ID. To get to the device manager, there are many ways, but I can do that simply by clicking on the Start button, right-clicking on Computer, and selecting Manage. Once the computer management window opens, I can then click on Device Manager. I will search here for my device by looking under Mice and Other Pointing Devices, and I can see there is my Dell touchpad. Now I want to know what the hardware ID is for this device. So I will right-click on it, select Properties. From here, I can click on the Details tab. And under the Property, I have a drop-down list where I can find hardware IDs. So I'm just going to click on that, and I can see populated here in this value box is the hardware ID. I'm going to use this to search on the driverguide.com website. Now the easiest thing is just to go ahead and right-click on it and say Copy. Come over here to the Driver Guide website, click in the search box, and I'm just going to paste what I copied from the uh, device manager and click search. So now I've searched using the hardware ID and I've got a couple of results here. I'm going to look for the one that matches my system, which happens to be this top one here uh, for latitude. It also has my operating system listed right there, Windows 7. So I'm going to click on the file name in order to download this file. It brings me to a download page. I can simply click on the file name, and in just a couple of seconds, the download will begin. I'm going to save this file to my, my machine and go ahead and wait for that to download. All right, now once the download completes, I can go to the location where I saved the file, and there is my executable. I'm just going to go ahead and double click that to run it. Say install. And I'm just going to go ahead and accept the prompts. Go ahead and go through the installation wizard. And I will get a screen here that says that my driver has been successfully installed. Click finish and it wants to reboot my computer. At this point, uh, the installation is complete. And that is how you can use the driverguide.com website to search for a driver using the hardware ID of that particular device.